Hello. Just pop it in real quick. I'm in my living room because I just need to sit on my couch. I was at the beach today. And I was assigned an assignment by my coach, Leah. Mentor, teacher, all of that. For self-care. And I was like, I take care of myself all the time. And I definitely do. But there has been some issues with me overworking, which is like always a thing. Um, so I just kind of wanted to pop on and talk a little bit about self-care and some of the things behind that and why it's so hard for us to take care of ourselves and the feelings behind it. Um, so I started journaling about it and let's look and see what I have. So the first thing with self-care I feel like has a lot to do, and today I'm Temple Ashley, by the way, so you're gonna see two different sides to me. Hey, Melanie, thank you for joining in. You're gonna see two different sides to me before I go into the whole self-care thing. You're gonna see Stone Cold Steve Austin Ashley, <laughs> which is, it's fine, you don't have to be quiet. Um, which is the crazy Ashley. And then you're going to see Temple Ashley. Cuts off at the table. Which is the very calm and peaceful and loving, but I still won't give you a hug, Ashley. <laughs> because I'm not a hugger. I do every once in a while. I will give people hugs. And sometimes people make me give them hugs, but I'm not really big on it. So today I'm Temple Ashley again, and I'm talking about caring for yourself and loving yourself. And so that was a thing, like when I first started journaling about self-care, I was like, what's the first thing that people are resistant on with self-care? And normally it is judgment from others. So when we say that we're going to do something nice for ourselves or um, take the time to, you know, take the day off and do something nice for ourselves or whatever you're doing, you know, it could even be like taking a nap or not cleaning the house for a day or just stepping back from life in general. People in your life will, can, there will be a few people in your life and I, and this happens to all of us, will be like, well, you're selfish because you have this, this, and this, and this to do, you know? Oh, and like that's automatically like what we think because there is a lot of judgment behind self-care there is we're not taught that this is something that we should be doing all the time we're taught that this is some like by the time we realize we have to start taking care of ourselves whether it's us getting really sick or you know mental stuff happening physical stuff happening like physically hurting yourself or just in general getting sick you it feels like it's more work than anything and that was another thing I want to talk about because Kate just popped on and I know there's other moms on here but I always look at Kate as the mom because she's just kind of like Danielle like the moms <laughs> um I can't even imagine being a mom and having to take care of somebody else and making sure that they stay alive <laughs> and then yourself you know like how crazy is that concept like I have a cat and I crack a can of tuna in the morning and give her a few pets and throw her toys and then it's all about Ashley for the rest of the day so you know being a mom I just can't even imagine how do you fit in self-care hey Veronica Hey, Chris. Hey, Mary. Thank you for joining in. Hey, Kate, by the way. It's all about consuming and self is the last thing you think of. Yeah, but I feel like we really need to make this a part of our daily schedule is to care for ourselves. And with the whole self-care thing and the assignment with me, it's like I do take care of myself. Everyone knows that Ashley takes care of herself. But the thing that Ashley does is Ashley overworks. And I overwork because I get so excited about my work 
and I overdo it a lot. Like I'm, I'm just, you know, constantly thinking about it and wanting to create. And so I was journaling about that, like the overworking thing. And I was like, well, I overwork because I love what I do. And then I heard, mm -mm, there's a little more there. I overwork because that's what I was taught in an Italian family. I am, a far, I, as far as I know, I'm 100% Italian. My dad is full Italian. My mom is full Italian. In Italian families, we are taught that you work all the time. All the time. And my mom was a stay-at-home mom for a while when we were kids. But she still never really stopped. Like, she was always cooking and cleaning and, like... If there was a speck of dust on the floor, she would have to mop and sweep and like do all of that all over. You know, it was just like never stopping. It was always, I and my friend Brian makes jokes too because when we were kids, my mom would be like, there would be socks on my floor and she would come in and start yelling and tell me to like clean my room. What do you think? This is a hotel, a vacuum, house. dust. And there was literally... <laughs> A pair of socks on the floor that's it that's how it is growing up in an Italian family my dad he's crazy he's like in his late 60s and he still says to me oh I only got two hours of sleep last night I was working all night he's a truck driver I don't know if I should be saying that, <laughs> like it's so insane the way that he still works and how old he is and he just like never takes break you know and i just you know it's like where have i been taught self-care growing up not this is something that should be taught in schools this is not taught in schools and another thing that kept coming up when i was journaling is that we are taught to use and abuse our bodies not appreciate them so by the time you're like oh shit i need to start caring for myself that becomes like a whole nother job in itself it's not something that is naturally comes to you to relax and care for yourself and eat right and drink a lot of water and meditate and like people always say to me oh i i can't meditate sorry all you I can't meditate people that's the biggest load of bullshit that I have ever heard in my life everyone can meditate if you can sit and watch me talk you're kind of going into a meditative state if you can read a book you can go into a med you know what I mean like there's meditation is not just sitting with your legs crossed and your hands up and going into this trance for like three hours that's not meditation um, meditation is breathing technique so that's another thing that I do when I work a lot I hold my breath so I more aware of that um, that I have to like stop when I'm working because I get overly excited and overly anxious and I have to breathe I have to be like okay I'm breathing now I'm breathing now like this is crazy how we're not this is stuff that we're where we have to relearn again read some of these comments if you can shower yeah you can meditate yeah 100 percent. shower meditation is a thing i always did this before i knew it and it was a thing yes definitely hey tyler taylor um uh amy said i was always told that your kids come first then your spouse mm -hmm. Ugh, I can't deal with that shit. Um, we mothers can focus on ourselves once the kids have grown and on their own. Yeah, Danielle's going like this with her finger. <laughs> I think that as moms, it's important to have time for yourself. I think it's important for everyone to have time for themselves, but especially moms, because you need to be in the right state of mind to take care of children that are screaming and yelling all the time, like Luna. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's why a lot of mothers go crazy and they kill their kids because they're stressed out. They're not taking care of themselves. There's something not mentally right there. That has a lot to do with self-care as well. 
you know, not that, yeah, I'm not saying go kill your kids, but, um, <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but I'm serious. This is why people are killing themselves. This is why people are committing suicide because they're, there's so much lack of caring for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like you feel so much guilt behind that all the time. I agree, but when you are sitting in the middle of a baby job house, chores, husband, who's at the end of the list? Italian mom here too. Now it's me. Kids are older now. Yeah. What do you think about that, Danielle? Because you're a mom. So. And you're a new mom, so you have a young kid. On it is that, and it's a good point because, like, when you get to that point where the kids are grown, a lot of moms go through that. Well, what? Who right. am I now? What yeah. do I do? So to they me, all come in and get readings, right? To yeah. me, as a as a mother of a two year old, it's important for me to make sure that I still schedule time for myself, mm -hmm. even if it's in the middle of the night after Luna goes to bed, mm. so that I can recenter myself mm -hmm. and always touch base with my truth. Yeah. Because I want to always know who I am, and I will always be me, and I will always be a mother. But at the end of the day, when my kids are grown, I also don't want to be who am I. Right. I think it's important mm -hmm. to always remember who you are, and I think that that's good um, mentoring and leading mm -hmm. as well for your children. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's just a healthy part of living. Yeah. But it's hard. It's really hard, mm -hmm. and I would never, ever say it's easy. Mm -hmm. I sometimes go crazy crazy and I'm up till two in the morning mm -hmm. just to make sure I have that time, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Mom of six, only two Ooh. left in the nest. Wow. Self-care is a must. God bless you, Heather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we send you all the self-care energy in the world. You got this, Mama. Yeah. Kid free two days, said Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so just think about self care and where you're not taking care of yourself. Cause like even like when I was saying when Leah gave me the assignment, I was like, oh, I take care of myself. Mm -hmm. I'm always doing things for myself, which I am. You know, I try to get a massage like every other week. Like I always meditate. I'm always journaling. But there is that that part of me that loves to overwork and overdo it and constantly be going all the time like it's something that's ingrained in me probably ancestral through my dna and i literally today i was at the beach and i was like wanting to work i was wanting to be on my phone i was wanting to answer emails i was wanting to write up classes and i literally had to close my journal and say no it's time for me to relax and i had to channel into relaxation energy into my hips so a lot of also the other thing that was coming up too which i think that i'm channeling a transmission through this so it's probably going to end up being in one of the classes that i do is that we don't relax because we don't feel safe. So that's also a big thing with self-care is that we need to feel safe in order to implement self-care. If we don't feel safe, if we feel anxious, if we feel annoyed, if we feel like we have to get things done, we have to make money, we have to be there constantly for other people, there's a sense of not feeling safe and not feeling stable. And I think that once you get into the place of like, I am safe, I am secure, I am ready to relax. Like that's what I had to do to bring myself into relaxation at the beach. <laughs> like this is how crazy I get. Like I just want to go, 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 go all the time. I never want to take time off. Like I was getting all excited about our Halloween event coming up by the way which tickets are flying with that so i would definitely if you are coming buy your tickets soon because i'm wondering if we're even going to make it through august because we do have a limited amount of time on that um but i get so excited with things and then i just want to keep doing more like i wanted to make another post about it and i wanted to do an email and i was like i'm not doing that right now i i promised myself 
that I would take Saturday off and that is what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything else today. We're actually going to do a movie night tonight. So, yeah. Are we watching Harry Potter? That's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Can we watch something new? We'll find something new. Um, no. <laughs> no. What are we going to watch? I don't know. It's something that we'll watch. I should have brought them to We end up talking to Oh, them. you should have brought so that. Next time. Fuck. Is that say? VCR, though? No, it's a DVD. Oh, okay. The Mist oh, of Avalon. I still think you should watch Fried Green Tomatoes. I am not watching Fried Green Tomatoes. <laughs> I don't even you know what that is, know. but I'm not watching that. <laughs> All right, let's see what Kate says. There was time when I was putting myself dead last for so long. I was burnt out, depressed, and angry. It wasn't the energy I wanted to have my kids around. Yeah, that's very toxic for kids to be around. Um, it's not always easy to carve out self-care, but I know how important it is. I take more time for myself now mm. and the entire mood of my house. Yes, because I really feel like mom set the tone in the house. So yeah, that's why that saying is like happy, happy wife, wife happy, happy life, life. <laughs> you know, because we're so emotional as women. If we're not happy, everyone can feel it. Like yeah. men can hide it a lot better than us, I think, you Plus, know, like, our children are our blood. Yeah, they so they're feeding feel off of yeah. our energy. They're feeling our yeah. energy. My mood and state of mind affects everyone in the house. Yes. You should watch Labyrinth. I think I actually have that movie. Check that and see if I have it. Thank you. Yes, so definitely connecting with self-care. So shout out to Leah Steele, my mentor and coach on that one. Um, she calls me out on my bullshit. She steals all my bullshit and slaps me in the face with it and then throws them in, in the garbage. So that is what we're doing here. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow. Um, so have a good weekend, night, morning, evening, and make sure you get your tickets to the Halloween event because they are going and it's going to be an amazing event. We're so excited for it. We're definitely going to do some more live videos and stuff about it um, coming up. But I will see you tomorrow. Bye.